Today marks the first day of Black History Month. New at 5, 10 on your side's Kara Dixon spoke to the Fort Monroe Park Superintendent about the importance of learning history not just this month, but every day. Yola Dance is the acting park superintendent at Fort Monroe, a place steeped in rich history. She says that learning about history can help our country heal. It's a place tied to the making of our country, but also a place that started the centuries long mistreatment of those of African descent. History has this opportunity um, to help us to remember and never forget, um, and to either redirect and do things different or better, um, or um, to be confronted with our own um, shortcomings. And Yola Dance, the acting superintendent here at Fort Monroe, says Black History Month is a time where we can learn. The month originally was started by historian Carter G. Woodson as Black History Week, and it grew to give educators an opportunity to teach history that wasn't always told, something they're also doing here at Fort Monroe. National Monument, um, we're really seeking to tell the untold stories and expand the narrative. Um, and so returning, that's that's what's so incredible and moving, and um, you know that you're really doing something that makes a difference and that has the potential to help people, all people, um, and create the stage for um, healing and reconciliation and truth telling. But this February, the month known for highlighting black contributions and origins may have a different feel after a year of calls for racial and social justice. 28 days to pause and see how black history helped make America what it is and give our country the opportunity to heal from wounds that continue to hurt. It is the only way you really have a clear understanding of where you're going is if you know where you've come from. Fort Monroe is open and they are also hosting virtual events this month. We also have a list of black history events over on wavy.com. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.